feeling sore after a major workout we did yesterday and uh, waking up really in pain not excruciating pain but sore and uh, I finally got to this brilliant conclusion that Alyssa is right, she's always right <laughs> Alyssa is right, she's always right <laughs> We're videoing this. No, it's not seriously. It's like the science is always right. And uh, I used to think, oh gosh, when they say that the best thing to soreness is to go back and do another workout that is not, you know, that is light but still keep moving, I used to say to myself, oh hell no. But today I came back, we did some maintenance stuff and um, active recovery. Active recovery, and I feel great. I, I really do. I feel much better than I. If I had resist, if I did uh, resistance to to moving, to moving mm -hmm. and rest is like not a couch, mean relax. Yeah, say like a couch potato, which it truly is what I felt like doing. So you know, it's just like, and then that's also in retrospect for what we were talking about about Mel Robbins about doing what you never want to do. Like your mind's always trapping you because it's about survival. You, it's never about doing what makes you uncomfortable. So mm -hmm. you have to force yourself and catch in those five seconds to force yourself to do what makes you uncomfortable. So, because that's where it's growth. And growth is in to contradict what, what your mind is telling you and uh, force yourself to do things that are different because that difference, that change will motivate uh, all the growth and all the the evolution of things. She loved it. She did it. She's speaking from experience. And now, sweat. everybody watching this, get out there and get some movement in. Lots of sweat. <laughs> Collect the sweat. Bye. Bye.